And hey guys, welcome back to the channel, back with Midwest Express. Uh, so today we're talking about the gig apps and exploitation of the apps or being exploited by the apps. And when anybody gets into gig work, and I don't care if you're a seasoned gig worker or brand new to the game, everybody, when you start out, you're sucked in by the allure of gig work. And that is the freedom to pick your own jobs, the freedom to work the hours you want to work, and kind of feeling like you're your own boss and you have this independence as an independent contractor. And that is a big allure with gig work, along with the making some extra cash along the way. You know, but I, I feel like gig work, if I had to analogize it, it would be like being a Mustang, you know, a free roaming horse in North America back in the day where they just had this freedom to run and go anywhere they wanted to go and eat whatever they wanted to eat. And, and that was kind of the allure of gig work, not having a boss, not having coworkers, not having, you know, office space drama and all these things. So everybody kind of gets sucked in with that. And it's not immediate, but as time goes on and time starts to progress, you start to realize that, wow, I'm putting a lot of miles on my car and gas is going up in price. And my profit margins aren't as great. And when I had a full-time job, I had paid time off. I had sick leave. I had a matching 401. I had, you know, all these other options out there that if my wheels aren't turning, I am not making money. So you kind of keep grinding. And then as time goes on and tax season comes around, you're like, Oh, I have to pay state and federal. And then you realize, oh, I have to pay FICA and I have to pay disability and you have to pay into all these other things. And you're like, oh, I wasn't really aware of all the tax ramifications that go along with this. And the allure that originally you were a wild Mustang and the gig apps, you, you start to realize that you're not necessarily a wild Mustang. You are domesticated. <laughs> Somebody has, in your heart, you're still a wild horse. You're a Mustang, but you're being domesticated. You're being harnessed and you're pulling a wagon now every day. And, you know, when you first started, you know, and you got into the gig economy, you were a Mustang and they put you out in this big pasture and you had freedom to run. And everybody shared tips and tricks on how to exploit the apps and how to, you know, use bots and how to get double accounts and like all these ways that people are finagling and cheating the system. And if you don't do it, then you find out you're not out in this pasture anymore. You're now not even in the corral. Now you're in the stable house and you get brought out of the stable every day, hooked to the wagon, you're fed your oats, but you don't get all that big graze time that you used to get. And you're just a workhorse. And that is gig work today. There is so many people in gig work <laughs> and they don't have to feed you as much as they used to. They are feeding you just the amount of oats that you need to go pull the wagon every day. They are not letting you graze to your heart's content anymore with gig work. And as time's gone on, there are lots of new companies, new logistics companies that have kind of thought, how can we start a business where we don't have to do any work really <laughs> and we could harness all these domesticated horses that are around nowadays and people are being exploited by the gig apps to the point where you're like this is not worth it anymore i'm getting out of this game and there are a lot of drivers that are quitting and the ones that have learned how to exploit the gig apps how to figure out how to get the shop and deliver orders how to be guaranteed to get the big orders and the batch orders. They've figured out how to exploit the app. And they don't feel like they've been harnessed yet. 
because they still got the tricks and tips to get extra. And that is the difference between a seasoned gig worker that's been doing it a long time and somebody that's new getting into the game. And the people that have been here a long time that know the secrets, they're most likely not going to share their secrets with you because this is the way that they make their living. They don't want anyone else doing it. They don't want any more drivers here. So, but the reality is the economy is getting more expensive. If you are rich, life is good. Stocks are trading at all time high. But if you are an independent contractor or I don't even like the term independent contractor. They should ban that. That it is it should be illegal to call us independent contractors cuz what we really are is self-employed. You are self-employed. When you get into gig work, you are self-employed. You're deciding to do all these different jobs for all these companies and you are taking on all the risk and the financial responsibility that go along with it. Maybe some of them will give you some teledoc mental health counseling if you want to sign up and pay some extra or, you know, but our society has just figured out a way to harness workers and exploit them. You know, if they're offering you a bank account to get your money, but then they're going to charge you a fee to get your own money, they're exploiting you. If they say you can get paid out every day, but they're taking a cut, they're exploiting you. And there's new companies every day that are signing up 1099 employees, figuring out a way to get the last mile of delivery and say, you know what, how can I start a business and make money off of other people's work? And that is gig work. And <laughs> that's business. That's, that's the way... Certain economies have always worked. When there is mass amount of labor, people are like, how do we get the labor and how do we get the cheapest labor possible? And that's what gig work is today. So that's just my Saturday rant. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are doing well. It is, I'm harnessed. I've already done a couple Uber rides. <laughs> but Hopefully you guys get some value out of this. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll hit you on the next one.